Let's go. Boom. Let's go. Hey everybody, I want to talk to you today about new provision and joy. New provision and joy. You see, when the people of Israel were in the desert on the way to the promised land, God gave them manna to eat for each new day. It sustained them for a while, but if you remember, it wasn't permanent provision. Eventually, the manna stopped coming, and then the people had to move forward. And then God gave them quail. You remember the story? And that fed them for a while, but it was also temporary. You see, God gave the Israelites temporary provision on the way to the promised land where they would have permanent provision. The fact that God had something much greater in store for their future is what kept them moving forward. God could have sustained them. We all know that. He could have sustained them with the manna or he could have sustained them with the quail. But God is a God of increase and favor and blessing and mercy. And he works in seasons. And he always has something better in store for us. So don't get stuck in a rut and think that the season that you're in right now is going to last forever. Instead, stay in faith and keep your mind and your heart open and be willing to change. Make some adjustments. Make some corrections if you have to. And try something new from time to time. If the manna stops coming, don't get upset. Just keep moving forward and be on the lookout for the new joy and the new manna that God has in store for you. You see, when you are full of joy, it can be seen by others. Joy is supposed to be displayed. You see, most people have allowed the pressures of life to keep them down and depressed and oppressed. If you're not enjoying your life or your relationships, it's time to refocus and tap into the joy within you. It's time to draw the line in the sand and say, that's it. I'm not going to live another day being negative and discouraged and sour and grumpy. I'm going to put on a smile. I'm going to make my face light up and I'm going to let my joy be seen so that I can brighten somebody else's day. I'm going to live my life happy and full of joy. And when you do that, when you take that step of faith and you choose to trust God with your future, something begins to change on you on the inside. And when you tap into joy, you tap into God's strength, victory, and power so that you can live life to the full. And I believe if you'll do that, those new provisions, that new manna, and that new joy is on its way. God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you soon.